appearing before Justice William Musioki, Mombi Ngoge, Helen Omondi, Francis Tuiyot, and Chacha Mwita, the defense lawyers demonstrated to the court why the allegations against Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu have no basis and cannot stand. Mwilu's lawyers claim that the allegations against the DCJ have no link with criminal justice since it's based on pure commercial transactions and should therefore be dismissed. The lawyers argued that Imperial Bank Limited, which is now under receivership, never confronted Mwilu with any complaints on any of the alleged matters relating to the credit transactions. And meanwhile, the anti-corruption court has sentenced a driver to three years in prison should he fail to pay 600,000 shillings fine after he pleaded guilty of offering 7,000 shillings bribe to a public officer. Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti ruled that the accused Maurice Logendi Shaban demonstrated a mind of a corrupt person when he opted to offer the bribe despite being warned by the public officer. And a corruption case facing a former moderator of the Presbyterian Church of East Africa, David Gadanju, and two others failed to kick off as scheduled on Tuesday. This is after prosecution sought to amend the charge sheet to increase the money the moderator is accused to have looted during his tenure between 2009 and 2015 from the charge from 39 million shillings to 50 million shillings. And finally, four suspects arrested over links with the fake money and counterfeit gold recovered in a safe box at Barclays Bank, Queensway branch in Nairobi have been arraigned in court. The four, Erika Dede, Ahmed Shah, Irene Wairimo and Elizabeth Modoni were charged with conspiracy to do fraud and being in possession of papers intended to resemble and pass as currency notes and being in possession of minerals. Erika Dede, believed to be the owner of the safe deposit box, was released on a 1 million shillings cash bail while his co-accused were granted a 300,000 shillings cash bail each after denying all the charges.